Hey there, this is Joe from Wayway Way Adventures, and I am starting out a um, few days trip, bounce around Anza Borrego and Dos Cabezas for a few days. Should be a good time. Hey, this is Joe from Wayway Way Adventures. Hey there, this is Joe from Wayway Way Adventures. All set up, ready for the night. We just picked up this cool little sleeping bag for Cricket. She's got her own little sleeping bag. Hop, hop. Got your own little sleeping bag. Yeah, get your paw in there. Good girl. She's got her little jacket. I think she's gonna be toasty tonight. Maybe a little too toasty. And I just picked up this wool blanket. It had Toyota colors, so I kind of couldn't resist. But um, over the top of my sleeping bag, and if I really need it uh, over there, I've got a uh, sleeping bag liner. So we'll see. But uh, yeah, campsite for the night. Here we are. Got our little firebox going. Got the desert night. Got a little uh, Trader Joe's dinner there. And some mezcal. And we got Cricket Dog. Hi, puppy. Okay. Ready? 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 Here we go. Good morning. Welcome to day two of this adventure. We got everything loaded up except Cricket and she's going in the truck next. Uh, it was pretty chilly last night. Got down to uh, 38 degrees when I checked. It probably got colder than that though uh, here and there during the night. It was, it was pretty cold but we both stayed warm. Cricket stayed in her sleeping bag surprisingly and uh, yeah, ready for adventures today. All right, we're headed out for some day two adventures. We're leaving the bull campground right now. It's one of the spots I like to camp in out here. I've only seen a couple other cars come up this way. So it makes for a nice private spot. so green right now. This area has a ton of the desert lavender. It smells so good when you rub it between your fingers. Just like clean and nice. So we'll head toward the water tower, and then down Morteros Road, and then maybe we'll drop in Canyon Sin Nombre, and then uh, go across that way. We'll see. <laughs> you never know. I'm. Uh, I didn't really plan this trip out, so I figured we would just kind of bounce around. I've been out here so much over the years that I just, I know of a, a lot of great places that we can go and find good camp spots and good places to hike and try something new. I've only been out to Fonts Point once, so maybe we'll point that way. Who knows? Onward. some of the infrastructure that was set up for the uh, impossible railroad way back when. Over behind me there, the big slab, I'm not sure what that was. That 
that's the water tower. And then uh, back over here some, we'll walk over there. There's always talk of some company buying this and closing it down and trying to refurbish it so that they can run trains on it again, but I almost hope they don't do it. <laughs> down to the end of Mortero's Road and then we'll figure out where we're going to go next. Spend a little time staring at the map. We pulled up to this sign, and as soon as I got out of the truck, I got hit in the head with a bee, which is usually them telling you to go away, and they start bouncing off of you. They don't necessarily want to hurt you, but they sure don't want you close to them. So I'm going to stay away. I had to stop and check this out. I'm in the middle of just this amazing bloom right now. As far as you can see, it's all... What? And this is Diablo's drop-off. This side is typically viewed as the harder way down. And then there's two other ways right over there that are a little easier. I'm not out here for heroics, so I usually just take the uh, easier way, but 
no matter which way you go down, it's always challenging. A little bit of um, kind of a falling with style, you know. Either way, it's fun. All right, Cricket, this is going to be nuts. what they call falling with style and hopefully without messing up your stuff Ooh, very powdery <laughs> well there we go Diablo's yeah, drop off. You okay, pup? Smaller drop off to do. Hopefully, this one's not all tore up too. A little bit tore up. You okay? Hey. Cricket. Here we go. A lot more crazy exposed rocks this way. Good girl, good dog. You made it. You made it through the crazy. I think this is gonna be the hardest part, Cricket. After this, it's just washboards and soft sand and stuff. Not a ton of rocks.
So there we go. Back that way is Fish Creek Wash. We just finished that road. Right up there is the highway. We're going to head toward Fonts Point, see if we can find a campsite. Dun dun dun. So we just got to the Vista del Malpais, and there are no, no dogs allowed signs, so we're going to take cricket. Come on, pup. Pretty amazing view. Huh? I'm really glad that we went down that road. So we took Short Wash Road, and then it veered into this area. There was another sign, and Honestly, for the life of me, I can't remember the name of it, but I'll drop the name in the video. Jeez Louise, look at that. Really, really beautiful. Here's the view looking the other way. All right, so we're at the road right now where it uh, there's an intersection. It's Short Wash and Del Malpias Vista. So behind us is Del Malpias Vista Point, and then this continues on Short Wash. We were on Short Wash. Um, we got off of the road up to Fonts Point and then hit Short Wash, and that led us here. So I'm going to continue on and just see where Short Wash leads us. So, yeah. <laughs> Right now, we're on the Palo Verde Wash Road. We keep um, crossing over other intersections here. Right now, it's the Shell Reef Expressway. I haven't spent a lot of time out in Ocotillo Wells, but it's pretty cool today. So I found a nice shady spot to air up. And also, I got pretty lucky the rangers had just finished cleaning the bathroom before I went in there, so double score. I just pulled off the S2. This is the road to Little Blair Valley. I used to camp out here when I was a kid. And when I started camping again, 
the last couple of years that I've been doing this crazy stuff, this was the first place that I came. I had a Subaru that I had lifted and I brought it out here and camped a couple times. Actually, I camped out here in my 63 Chevy pickup a couple times. The truck was lowered, made it out here just fine. But that kind of kick-started the whole thing. All those memories of camping out here when I was a kid. My dad loved it out here. He still asks me every time I tell him I'm going camping if I'm going to Little Blair. Well, not every time, but a lot of times. My brother too, he asks. The road is super smooth right now. I didn't even air down. We'll see how far this gets me. I might stop and do it. <laughs> so this is the pictograph trailhead. Unfortunately, it's no dogs allowed, but behind me here is kind of the first place I came out and camped in my 63 Chevy. This spot right here. I've got a pretty cool photo of myself from up on top of those rocks over there. Looking down on the truck. But we're going to walk around a little bit and then head back home.